Okay, question number two from practice paper A uh, for the P1, the Pure Mathematics 1 International A level paper. Uh, find an equation of the straight line passing through the points with coordinates 4, minus 7, and minus 6, 1, giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so now to find the equation of a straight line, we need two pieces of information. First thing we need is the gradient of the line. And the second thing we need is any point on the line. Okay, now I've got two points on the line. Let's choose 4 and minus 7. Numbers look a bit easier, that's all. Now the gradient of a, a curve, uh, sorry, a straight line, is given by the formula y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. It doesn't matter how you learn it. Some people say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus y1. Uh, x1 or some people say ya minus yb over x a minus xb whatever it doesn't make any difference how you learn it basically the concept is that you have two points you have 4 and minus 7 and you have negative 6 and you have 11 and the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x between those two points so for example if I find the change in y it's going to be minus 7 minus 11 and if I ch find the change in x be careful to start from the same point for both of them. So you have 4 minus, be careful of the sign here, minus 6. Okay, so you have here, um, that gives you minus 18 over 10. Okay, so that's going to give you uh, 9 over 5, minus 9 over 5. So the gradient is minus 9 over 5, in simplest form. Yep. So we know the gradient is minus 9 over 5. Okay, minus 9 over 5, and that's got the symbol M. So we know M is minus 9 over 5, and we know that it passes through the point, minus 9 over 5, sorry, over 5, and it passes through the point uh, 4 minus 7. It also passes through the point minus 6, 11. We could use both of them. I just chose these because the numbers are smaller, that's all. So. The, when you, especially when you have to exchange, uh, um, express your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, I personally prefer to use this form of the equation of the straight line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So these two points are x1 and y1, and your y and your x are the variables. So you write y minus y1, so it's y minus minus seven, be careful about the signs, equals m which is negative 9 over 5 and um, times x minus 4 okay now to find the equation here we can just multiply both sides by 5 let me just simplify that's y plus 7 equals minus 9 over 5 times x minus 4 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of this fraction here so I have 5y plus 35 and what we can do now is multiply the whole of this side by your negative 9 so you have minus 9x and plus 36 minus 9 times plus, minus 4 is plus 36 and we want to bring all the x's on one side I like to keep the x's positive so let's just bring all the terms on this side so you have 9x and you're going to have plus 5y and you're going to have 35 minus 36 which is minus 1 equals 0 and there we have the answer to that question. That's part A. Okay, and now, okay, so now we have part B where we're asked to do the following. It says, it tells us that this line crosses the x axis at point A and the y axis at point B and O is origin. Find the area of the triangle AOB. So now, let's, this is part B now. So it crosses the x axis. At A and the y axis at B. So let's make a little sketch here and let's see. Okay, so it crosses the x axis at A. On the x axis, we can say y is equal to 0. So you have 9x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 1 over 9. Okay, so it's going to be over here somewhere. That's where it crosses the x-axis. Okay, when y is equal to 0. And it crosses the y-axis 
a line will cross the y-axis when x is 0. Okay, so when x is 0, you're going to have 5y minus 1 equals 0. 5y minus 1 equals 0. So in that case, <coughs> y is going to be 1 fifth. Y is going to be 1 over 5. So it's very close to the origin, both of these. So y, this is going to be where it crosses the y-axis. So it's a really small triangle here. I should have drawn it bigger, but anyway. Here we have, whoops. Pen is going to part of it. We have this triangle here. You got A, oops. You got A, O, B. So that's your A, that's your O, and that's your B. So you have a triangle that looks like this basically. Okay, you have that's O, that's A, that's B. It's not really to scale, but no problem. So this O, B is um, one fifth. And OA is one ninth. So the area of the triangle is going to be a half times the base times the height. So it's going to be one over ninety square units. One over ninety square units. That's a bit of a strange answer. But I'm going to check the mask scheme of where I got it from just to make sure. Yes, 1 over 90. Okay, that's the answer for that question. And that's correct. Okay. All right, so there we have the answer to part B. I should show you a bit clearly, but my pen is starting to play up. I have to restart my computer. Okay, thank you for watching.